Check it out. These devices are going to be used by a police department in central Minnesota. Sartell officials believe license plate readers, which is what these are, will help them stop crime. But as Richard Reeve explains, there's concerns these devices invade the public's privacy. In Sartell, a new seeing eye law enforcement tool coming soon to roadways and intersections here. We also want to be vigilant to the fact that bad things happen in good places sometimes. In September, the city council approved a plan to install eight license plate recognition cameras, or LPRs. They scan and record photos of the back of vehicles passing by. Residents and visitors here say they're well aware the devices are coming. I mean, if it's going to be easier to catch people who've done bad things, I guess I'm all for it. I don't care for that, really, to be honest with you. Uh, invasion of privacy kind of thing. I'd, I'm not a big fan of it. The idea is part of a two-year pilot program under an agreement with Flock Safety, an Atlanta vendor. Authorities say there is a specific reason for the cameras. So we had a, a rash of crimes in our area that included vehicle break-ins. Police Chief Brandon Silliard says there were dozens of smash-and-grab robberies of parked vehicles last summer, the department putting out alerts on social media. He says witnesses often had only vague information. We were getting vehicle suspect to vehicle descriptions without having a plate number. So that we can only usually go so far when it comes to investigative purposes with that. Bureau of Criminal Apprehension records show more than 40 police agencies in Minnesota are using LPRs. But the ACLU of Minnesota says it has concerns. We see this as just an expansion of government surveillance, um, and we do have immense privacy concerns about that. The Civil Rights Advocacy Group says its biggest worries are about data collection and how that information is used. So not only are you looking up, for example, a stolen car using that license plate reader technology, you're also collecting the data of a ton of innocent people's um, license plates, um, their cars, their location. Silliard says the devices will run plate numbers against a hot list of stolen vehicles, those connected with a wanted person. He says his department will delete images after 30 days unless it's used as part of a criminal investigation. We're not trying to retain this data for a long period of time. So trying to find that perfect little spot where we're um, protecting privacy, but also giving ourselves uh, the best leg up to solve some of these crimes. Chief Silliard says per state law, there will be a third party audit of any collected data. He adds that every officer with access to the system has to log in. The system shows when they do that and is required to have what he calls a criminal justice reason to access or use the data. The two year pilot program is expected to cost about twenty nine thousand dollars the first year and twenty four thousand the next. Police hope this have the system up and running by the end of December, Lindsay. All right, of course, we'll be following this one and see what happens. Thank you, Richard Reeve reporting.